Victoria Sura lives on the outskirts of Juba City and every day she struggles to get water since the area has no water pipes. It's distributed through a network of privately owned tanks at $3 a barrel. That's more than what Victoria says she can afford, so she relies on untreated well water. Getting water here is very difficult. Water tanks rarely come here because the drivers say the place is far. This is the water that helps us. We fetch it, put chlorine and use it. But in Juba, Victoria is not the only one left without another option. More people come to Juba every day. Many are returning from refugee camps to the city as South Sudan moves towards peace. But that's making competition for water and for other basic resources even worse. Juba's water system was built more than 80 years ago. At the time, the population was about 2,000. Today, the National Bureau of Statistics estimates that there are about 400,000 residents and the city's crumbling water system is straining under the weight of its rapidly expanding population. A Japanese project to build a new network of water pipes has been delayed for three years. But once it's finished, engineers say it won't be enough. The combined production will be 18,000 cubic meters per day. Plus also that one has a different pipelines and network. To, com to, to, to combine it with the existing network, it will may cover up to 50 or 60 percent of the, 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 the Juba city, and then the rest will be also still getting water through the tanker, uh, the tanker trucks. Even for city residents who can afford water, inflation continues to drive costs up. We need a borehole installed here. There is no water. The truck drivers come here and they charge a lot of money for water. Some of us cannot afford it. But the crisis continues even though the Nile passes through South Sudan's capital, Juba. The government says it simply doesn't have the money to pump and treat water from the world's longest river. Patrick Oyat, TRT World, Juba, South Sudan.